Charles fears a resurgence of coronavirus amid protests. And, um, uh, of course, this is something that has been developing for a while. This is on page 30 of the standard. In the same breath, we are told in, on page 32, former defense chief accuses Trump of dividing Americans. The division have tasks to do with those racist incidents whereby George Floyd was killed by a police officer. But at the same time, this is linked to many other um, um, incidences that has forced many Americans to come out. But while they're protesting, obviously, there's no social distancing we've seen all the videos and of course they're putting themselves in danger what do you make of this developing story well america was already leading in infection so mm. I, I don't think they can lead anymore <laughs> than they're already but but this is something that is dear to my heart and i wrote about it in the standard yesterday actually uh -huh. and the reason why this issue is important is not because black americans in the United States are being discriminated against. It is because even here in Kenya, if you go to parts of Nyali, for example, you will find buildings that are only for white people and Indians. You know, this. let's let's not pretend that there's no racism here. We remember yeah. the croissant issue at a restaurant in Kenya. We, we remember there was a supermarket that had the marketing campaign that was uh, considered racist. So the issue for me is this, yeah. that white supremacy is a concept and is real in the minds of the white people, but unfortunately it is real in the minds of the black person too. That is the problem. Yeah. Whenever you see black people trying to bleach themselves so that they can be as light as possible. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see people thinking that if you marry a white person, you are doing much better than the rest of us. Mm -hmm. The moment you see that, then you understand that there is indeed a problem. And this is where we need to rise up as nations. My question is very simple. If a white person in Kenya had his, his neck under the boot of a black cop, you tell me whether you, the United States will not issue well, been a, a threat diplomatic a incident. Yes, yes. But the problem is this, that there's no African country that can stand up to the West. There is none. You see, it's, let me tell you, mm -hmm. we, we took our own brothers many hundreds of years ago and gave them over to go farm cotton. My question is, were there no cotton farms? Uh, was there no farming in Africa? Right. Today, we send our own brothers to go work for slave wages in different countries, okay? And this is what I would like to underscore. Slavery did not end because the white man liked us. <laughs> Slavery ended because it is cheaper to pay minimum wage than it is to clothe, shelter, treat a slave. Right. Let's forget. And now what we are suffering today mm -hmm. because of how we Africans behave. And let me explain to you how we behave. Our dictators, look at, look at Bashir, 4 billion US dollars, 4 billion US dollars worth of assets he had. Yet he consistently went to the West to beg them for a billion dollars to do this, a billion dollars to do that. How dyslexic do you think they look at us? Yeah. That they come to us and they have a market. They sell us their cars, they sell us their toothpicks, they sell us their tomato picks, they sell us everything, okay? Yeah. So there's a market, we can buy their stuff, yes, but yes. we also go back and beg them for aid, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, look, we, are all not, we are our own enemies when it comes to that, Mark. We have to uh, take a short break. Um, well, we have to come back to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for your, your passion as far as this uh, subject is concerned. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'd like to uh, get on with the events of the week. And of course, perhaps Mike will be able to have uh, Mark uh, give the rest of his uh, uh, you know, talk on that. But of course, let's uh, answer the question, should the president lift the curfew and cessation of movement restrictions? How much tricks in Gado? Michael is at Michael G. Gitonga. The hashtag is KTN Morning Express. We'll get to you on uh, to your comments and, uh, you know, give an overview of what you think online. But for now, let's take